G'day everyone and welcome to the S openings. I'm Welcome Patterson. Now while the S opening for tonight is highlights of the 1998 Blazo Cup, Australia vs New Zealand, 1998 Fierce from Seven Sport, and here we go. This is what it's all about. The vast crowd at the MCG erupting in appreciation. special rivalry between Australia and New Zealand. Simon Point of it played against the All Blacks on 23 occasions. David Campisi was up near 30. Australia's two most capped players against New Zealand. Simon, why is it so special? Well, it's basically because you're pitting yourself against the best in the world. And New Zealand, no doubt about that, over the years, over the, over the decades, over the centuries, they are number one. And they are the side to beat for many years with a poor cousin. Through the 80s, we started against the Ascendancy out there and won, won some uh, historic battles against them. It's been a long drought since 1994. Let's hope we can turn around tonight. And the All Blacks arrive. They caught the crowd by surprise. But a tremendous hand now. As Jeff Wilson is last man out. And Wilson, one of the outstanding three quarters in the international game. Five changes to this Kiwi side that downed England a fortnight ago. Four in the back line. Bindiri displaces Lombu, while McLeod, Little and Marshall return after injury. In the back, Michael Jones is back from concussion. Ian Jones and Robin Brook, they lock together for a test world record, 43rd time. Jones also stepping out for his 73rd test match. That's Ian. Here come the Wallabies. And what a great response from this vast crowd here at the MCG. It's over 70,000 and George Regan the hero in 94 when he pulled off that marvellous last second tackle against Jeff Wilson. The Wallabies fielding the same starting lineup for the fourth test in a row. The Aussie back line has scored 17 of the 20 tries this season in the pack. It's an all Queensland back row of Kefu Wilson and Cobain and an all New South Wales front row of Blades, Kearns and Harry. And Phil Kearns, his first Bledisloe Cup in three years. And a man to watch early on will be Robert Brook. If he's on fire, the Wallabies have to look out. Burton's goes deep to Regan. The Wallabies go wide. Running the ball from inside their quarter. Now Gregan. Desperately needs support here. Plenty of time. And that's a soaring punt kick. To an end nine metres at the halfway line by Matthew Burke. That's a good confidence start from the Wallabies. 
George Gregan, sound take. Move the ball for a few sets of hands out there, settle the nerves down, and then a nice touch finder from Matthew Burns. Interesting to see Charlie Gendiri in the line out of two. Cross the out. Very, very interesting position for the winger. Donfell standing at fly half. Here comes Little. Charging onto the ball, he's over the advantage line. So good build up here by New Zealand. Scott McLeod couldn't hold on. He's pummeled. He knocked it on. McLeod lacking match practice. Ciao, Baba, 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 if you're not interested in these views, the 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 these Robins, these Robins, and from the vault, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to put those thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this video much I have. On the highlights of the 99 Blazer Cup, Australia versus New Zealand. One of the greatest rivalries in rugby union, Australia and New Zealand, the battle for the Tasman. We've got a lot of awesome content coming up for your brain and camera right here on Pazin TV. And Pazin TV is the home of the Wallabies. With a lot of awesome Wallabies content coming soon to Pazin TV. And I love for now. Thank you for watching. This has been Rugby on 7. Good night, everyone.